I like to cook a lot, and I like to cook a lot for a lot of people. We should call Andrew. His he's, fat ass loves barbecue. He's coming. I knew he would be. Like, I'll, I'll throw a barbecue, and I'll have 30, 40 people. And it's just fun to laugh your balls off, smoke reefer, drink cold beer, and eat great barbecue. Maybe watch a ball game, you know? That to me is fun as balls. Now, with brisket, I generally do not remove the fat. And everybody's, oh, I can't have fat in my beef or stuff like that. You know what you're doing when you remove it? You're taking the flavor out of it. You gotta have a certain amount of fat. Now me, I got way too fucking much. What, what I like to do is take a little Worcestershire to activate the rub. And a lot of people don't do this, but you know who taught me? A black guy in Texas. Oh, Jesus Christ. The great thing about barbecue and, and, and barbecue culture is everybody wants to share. Only smoke your barbecue for four hours on direct smoke, okay? I use pecan, all right? I think it's got the best flavor. Uh, pecan, apple, peach, those are the three. Don't go fucking mesquite, it's gross, tastes like AIDS, okay? Same with hickory, it's too strong. All right, we're taking the brisket off, okay? Brisket takes longer than pork butt because it doesn't have as much fat on it. It's a very cheap piece of meat, but when it's done right, man, it tastes better than steak meat. That, that's, that's as good as it gets right there. A lot of times I'll make barbecue and I won't hardly eat any of it just because I've been cooking it all day. But I also want to see everybody enjoy it, you know? Somebody try a bite. That, that's, that to me is what I get the most gratification out of. It's, it's watching everybody else melt a little bit when they try it. I ho hope you brought your eating pants, all right? Everybody go, go home, go get a pair of warm-ups, all right? Get the eating pants on. <laughs>